Is Jesus actually God? That was the straightforward question someone posed to me the other day. Let me read you the actual question verbatim. The person said, I have a lot of friends who keep saying that Jesus is lesser than God. He wasn't true God, just a really great guy like Moses and the prophets. What in the Bible shows that Jesus is true God and true man? That's a great question. Uh, if you're like me, people from other religions, uh, Buddhist people, Jewish people, Muslim people, Hindu people, even atheist or agnostic people, they often love it when Jesus is on their team. I've noticed that. There aren't a ton of people who say, Jesus is dumb. <laughs> Everyone loves to find something in Jesus' teaching so that Jesus is cool with their philosophy. And so I've had to ask that question, yeah, who, who exactly did Jesus think he was? When you look at the original biographies about him, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, as you look at what Jesus did and listen into what Jesus said, is there any clue that he was not just a good prophet, a guru, a guide, but he actually was equal to God? And the answer is yes. You might know that Jesus had 12 apostles. It was like Jesus' small group that spent time with him, lived with him, traveled with him. And one of those 12 apostles was actually part of Jesus' inner circle. His name was John. And John did us the great favor of writing this beautiful biography of Jesus that's filled with so much of what Jesus did and said. And so if you're wrestling with that question, I would just encourage you, you could probably do it in an hour, to read the Gospel of John. Let me help you, though, with just a few snippets. In John chapter 1, verse 1, like this is the first sentence. John describes his friend Jesus as the word. Like this communication so we know what's going on in the heart of God. And John writes, In the beginning was the word, Jesus. And the word was with God and the word was God. Person asks, Is there anything in the Bible that says that Jesus was God? The word was God. And just you think that John maybe got confused about it? Look at Jesus. Jesus claims to be wiser than the wisest man on earth, Solomon. In the Gospels, he claims to be Lord of the Sabbath. He claims to be above human rules. He quotes the Bible and says, Now truly, I tell you, here's what it means. And when people fell on their faces to worship him, think about this for a second. It, let's just assume that I'm the best pastor in the world. Obviously not true. Let's assume I am. Someone comes to church, they fall down here in the lobby and they start to worship me and pray to me and call me their Lord. If I said, well, thank you. <laughs> Would I be a good pastor? A good spiritual leader? I'm accepting worship like I'm God? And the answer would be no. That'd be blasphemy. That'd be absurd. But do you know what Jesus did? He accepted it. In the Gospels, when, when people prayed to him, when they worshipped him, when they treated him like God, he didn't say, no, 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 that's only for my father. He accepted it because the word was God. Let me leave you with my favorite example. In, in John chapter 8, Jesus quotes of himself the sacred Old Testament name of God. Uh, so some of you know I have a tattoo and in that tattoo is the sacred Hebrew name of God, Yahweh or Jehovah. Uh, in the Bible, it's often translated as I am. And in John chapter 8, Jesus was in a fierce debate with these religious teachers because he was not claiming to be just another religious teacher. He was claiming to be the Word, to be God. And Jesus starts saying, Well, you should believe in me because Abraham believed in me. And they responded in John chapter 8, What? Abraham lived 2,000 years ago. You're. You're like not even 40 years old. Like, how, you were just born. How could Abraham possibly have known you? And do you remember what Jesus says? I tell you the truth. Before Abraham was even born, I am. Yahweh. Abraham believed in Jehovah. And that's me. And the religious leaders picked up stones, John chapter 8 says, to stone him for blasphemy. So, is there any clue in the Bible that Jesus is actually God? John chapter 1, verse 1. 
John chapter 8, the great I am, accepting worship, Lord of the Sabbath, making himself equal to the word. There are a thousand clues that Jesus was not just a good teacher. And isn't that such good news? Because you and I don't need another teacher. We don't need someone to write the same book to tell us to be better, kinder, more loving, more passionate. We need someone to save us from the times we mess that up. And a good pastor, a spiritual leader, a guru, a guide, they can't do it. They can tell us to try harder, but they can't stand in our place, suffer for our sins, and conquer the grave. Only God can do that. And thankfully, he did. Because Jesus is God. Did you enjoy this video? Well, we would love to share with you so much more. Just click here.